soldiers, police, army, DSS. Make on a no shoot anybody, oh. no kill any civilian. I did draw hand for here. No shoot civilian. Because if I kill any civilian, you go turn to another thing. A civilian, no fight any military man. Peaceful demonstration. The August peaceful protest in Nigeria is not going to work. And I'm here to tell you why. Here's why I said this protest is not going to hold. F-E-A-R. Fear. Guys, the reason why I said fear is, see what happened during the Kenyan protest. When the Kenyan youth trooped out in their numbers protesting for bad governance. The president gave order to the army to come out and disperse the protest. The army came out with their water gun. The army came out with everything they had in their ammunition. But the Kenyan youth were like, no, nothing is going to stop us. To the extent that the army people, the people in charge of keeping peace during the peaceful protest, decided to open fire and started shooting the Kenyan youth. Peaceful protesters. Did that deter the motivation of the Kenyan youth? No. Instead, it added more fire for them. It added, it, it, it motivated them the more to keep going. At the end of the day, a lot of people died. Today, if those people that died see what is going on in Kenya now, they will be happy. Why? A lot of people sacrificed their life. But at the tail end of it, Kenyan president came out, dissolved the whole cabinet, agreed to the terms of the whole country, agreed to the terms of the protesters. This is what they want. This is what they got. Now, let's take it back to Nigerians. We are preparing a nationwide protest for the 1st of August. Though the date keep changing, which is one of the reasons why I think this protest is not going to hold. Some are saying 28, some are saying, you know, let's postpone it to the 1st of August, which I don't have any issues with it. Any day that they want to hold a protest, am I for it? 100% things are bad. Why I'm making this video is to point out why I think this protest is not going to hold. And like I said during the Kenyan uh, protest, see what happened. They persevered, even in the eyes of adversaries. They persevered, they didn't give up. Now, our politicians, they've been trying everything possible. Since the day they found out that Nigerian youth are serious about this protest, they've been trying everything possible to call this protest to a stop. But I like what the Nigerian youths are doing. Whatever way they come, Nigerian youths will go the other way. Whichever way they come, Nigerian youth will go the other way. To show them that, finally, the giant of Africa has risen. And I like it. So what have they been doing, you may ask? First of all, for the religious people, they contacted their imam, the pastors, all those people in charge of big congregation to talk about how bad it would be to protest. And Nigerians are not buying it anymore. Before, yes, we used to buy it. But given the level of hardship the Tinubu administration has given to Nigerians, Nigerians are not buying it anymore. So, what is the next, uh, their next tactics to discuss it in the National Assembly? And someone who Nigerian voted in to make the, the lives of Nigeria better said that the best possible action to take is to tell the DSS to gather the organizers of this protest for them to have a dialogue. Mrs. or Mr., what type of dialogue are you going to have that you are involving the DSS? The same DSS that is shooting any Nigerian they see on site? Is that the same DSS that you plan on involving for a said dialogue? Now, Nigerians are like, no, we don't have any leader. Nobody is leading this protest. All of us are the leaders. So if you want to have a dialogue, come out and have a dialogue with all of us. So that tactics didn't work. The next tactics, they decided to slash their salary for the next period of six months. Now, doing that, we don't like it. If you're going to slash your salary, slash it, cut it out forever. Don't give it a timestamp, six months. Because you know what you guys are, are capable of. If you cut your salary to uh, into half for the next six months, after that six months is done, for the next three years, you will be awarding contract. You will be borrowing money just to recoup what you lost during that past six months. So if you are trying to get us Nigerians to stop that protest, cut that salary into half forever. At that point, we know, okay, yes, these people are actually meaning something. But saying that you cut it into half, Nigerian youth are still not buying it. They said, no, we will persevere. You see that protest? we're going to have it. What is the final tactics that they have come up with? Since the organizing of this protest, everywhere you see, the youth, the old people, Femi Farana, everybody who are interested in this protest, we are calling it a peaceful protest. Very dark man, everybody, all the socialites, all the influencers who has been speaking out about this protest was tagging it a peaceful protest. Now, what did our politicians do? They decided to change it a violent protest. You also saw what happened during the NSAS protest. One people are protesting for, one people are protesting for against. And at the end of the day, people that are protesting for against, who we don't know who organized them, kind of had a clash and changed the whole narrative of a peaceful protest to a violent protest. Nigerian army, who we are supposed to be in charge of keeping the peace, opened fire 
and massacred Nigerians. Nigerians who were singing the national anthem peacefully were shot and killed. The worst part of everything is our Nigerian politicians, the ones in charge of that killing, came out, denied everything, denied anybody even dying. To the extent that CNN came out and did a documentary suggesting that yes, a lot of people died during that protest, but Nigerian politicians said no, nobody died. Fast forward to last year or last two years, I've forgotten, they decided to organize a nationwide memorial service or a mass memorial service for the life that we are lost during the NSAS protest. Now, who are we kidding? So this gets me to my point why I said the youths of Nigerians, would, this protest that we are planning, it won't hold. Why? How many of you are familiar with that famous saying, who will bail the car? I know most of you are familiar with the saying, but are you familiar with the story of who will bail the car? I'm not here to tell you about the story, so go check it out on your free time check out the story and why they came up with that term who will build the car now let's put it in a nigerian perspective but first of all let's see it in a kenyan way during the protest of kenya kenyans we are killed kenyans we are massacred the army tried to disperse them tear gas water everything it was in kenya that i saw that someone can smoke tear gas someone smoked tear gas tear gas that is used to that is used to scatter protesters someone smoked it so kenyans even the armies, the police, the security are killing them. Once a protester falls from the bullet, they carry the person, they will, they cry, they keep the body one side and they persevere. So now, those dead bodies, they've paid the price. And now what is happening? The Kenyan government is working towards getting everything that the Kenyan youth demanded. Now in Nigeria, we organized a protest, a peaceful protest that our governor, our president are trying to turn into a violent protest. Now. With that violent protest in mind, they will inform the army, the DSS, the police to come out in their numbers and do what they do best. Create chaos. Try as much as possible to scatter what the Nigerian youths are planning. And in that process, the Nigerian youths will try and retaliate. What will happen? Boom, 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 boom. Gunshots everywhere. Now people will die. Two, three, four, five might die. And immediately the news starts spreading. Oh, someone died in Lagos. Oh, someone died in Oh, someone died in Anambra State. What will happen? Fear will start circulating. We start circulating, and then all the motivation, all the ginger, all the initial gra gra will just die down. Why? Nobody wants to die. Will I like to die during a peaceful protest in Nigeria? No. Will you like to die during a peaceful protest in Nigeria? No. Why? Because you know that after sacrificing yourself, after dying, nothing will change. So that is why I think this protest in Nigeria is not going to work. But prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Let me know down below. Within your heart of heart, will you come out if you heard that Nigerian police, Nigerian army, the DSS are shooting and killing protesters? Once the protest starts, will you come out and be like, you can't kill us all? According to Aisha Yusuf during the NSAS protest, she said, we only have one death. If you kill me today, I am gone. But another Aisha is if we will stand up. You can't kill every Nigerian. If Nigerians can persevere during the pressure of army, police, DSS, shooting tear gas, if Nigerian youth can persevere, yo, guys, if we can persevere and stand tall and say, Nothing you do can stop us from protesting. Believe me, the giant of Africa will stand. The giant of Africa will stand tall. And I would like to see that. I would like to see that happen because it is time for revolution in Nigeria. It is time to say no. It is time to hold our politicians accountable. It is time for our politicians to stop this irresponsible spending, to stop all the irresponsible borrowing. And at the end of the day, do nothing with that borrowed money. It is high time we put a stop to bad governance in Nigeria. I'm a patriotic Nigerian and I would like to see that work. Are you a patriotic Nigerian? Are you going to protest? Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys on the next video.